Hello, hello guys, this is Doc M with another Micros uh, Minecraft video <laughs> and I'm here on the Minecraft server my friends, yay, share this for the kids, <laughs> everywhere there is the remains of the charity stream which was an utter success, over a hundred grand, over a hundred and ten thousand dollars collected. A lot of excitement, a lot of hype, uh, splendid UHC, which we enjoyed a lot. Everybody's like, oh man, how can we go back to the regular UHC after that sensational event? Yeah, I'm uh, still a bit hyped. It was great. Um, but then, boom, the bomb dropped. The unexpected, <laughs> no, not, not really. If you listen to my video, The Two Billion Dollar Man of last week, um, I basically told you why not just gonna sell Minecraft. It was funny, um, reading through the comments, um, one of the top rated comments was, come on dog, now, now you're rambling, you now di diagnosing uh, not just mental state, how could you do that? And it was upvoted quite a lot. People were like, ah, this dog's rambling. Well, after the fact, um, it only has one upvote now. And I also replied with basically uh, not just goodbye letter, which was a transcript of what I said in the video. The thing is, you know, as I said, I'm very well connected and I might have some info here and there that is not available to the public. But of course, I cannot just go there and say, hey, person X and Z and Y told me this and this and that and this is going to happen. No, no. Um, it's about trust. So you have to talk about topi topics like that, that you bring across your point, but that you make sure um, not to compromise anybody. So I did what I could. Warning-wise, don't want to point fingers at people or anything, uh, but, you know, as I mentioned, the Eula thing, the big drama around the Eula um, towards Notch, who's basically backed off the game for a long time and just wanted to chill, was the final nail in the coffin that tipped, tipped it over, tipped the scale over and made Notch say, okay, I, I want out. For the reasons I explained, we don't want to talk about it. Um, you know, for too long, we ex I explained the reasons. So now, um, community of course riled up, you know, nervous. Everybody's nervous, me included. I'm also nervous, hashtag nervous. Um, but, um, well, you know, why is everybody nervous? Everybody is thinking, okay, they might, the worst case scenarios and so on, they might ruin it. They might ruin it. And there, there is concerns. Um, on the Reddit, for example, on the big discussion uh, thread, um, top th uh, comment is basically, don't fuck this up. <laughs> Signed, 50 million players. You know, so stakes are high. So why would Microsoft not fuck that up, <laughs> so to speak? And uh, why did Microsoft even do this deal? First of all, why do they do this deal? Microsoft did an investment into a generation that grew up with the game we all love with Minecraft. Minecraft is a cultural phenomenon. It's more than a game by now, easily outlived its days of uh, innocent, independent thing. You know, sure, the community spirit was there, but it became a cultural phenomenon that is used in education and has huge marketing potential, has huge influence of how games are played um, and so on. All those things that came from Minecraft, which are definitely true. It is the biggest game 
or one of the biggest games ever made, probably one of the most influential games ever made. So it literally, when you say it is an influential game, what does that mean? It influenced culture, it influenced generations of kids, of young adults, of grown-ups like me. So it is a brand with a lot of emotions attached to it. So as a company like Microsoft, you do a deal like that and you think big scale. You think, all right, if I buy not the brand, but this community, and by buying, you know, that sounds so bad. But if I engage with this community and don't fuck it up, <laughs> how they said on Reddit, then I win big time because then you will gain a generation of dedicated Minecraft players as loyal customers, potentially at least, because people will associate the positive uh, experience I made with Minecraft with a, a Microsoft, the company named Microsoft. On the other side, if they fuck it up, it will be unforgivable. If Microsoft, you know, kind of yeah, ruins their reputation with being the company that messed up the biggest game ever. You can, that would be such a, a disaster for this company so that uh, chances are really high that they are definitely trying hard to not fuck this up. So now the next thing. New CEO sitting at Microsoft. It is his first major investment. Still, everything is relative. For a company like Microsoft, 2.5 billion is uh, money, but it's not like you know, that they go bankrupt when it fails. But still, it is uh, the first major investment for the new CEO. So you can bet, you can bet he's going to babysit that. Because if that fails, you know, you're always going to be measured. The first impression, you know, if you mess it up, you know, Competition is high for these posts up there, CEOs and stuff. He cannot mess it up. So, you know, alone from a strategic standpoint, we are in a very good spot. You know? So, that's pretty decent for us there. So, we know the CEO of Microsoft definitely will have an eye on that thing. Also, there's a generation shift. Rarely... Rarely, Microsoft has messed up some stuff in the past, but it's a long time ago, different times. We are not talking about Bill Gates or Balmer here. We're talking about a guy who is comes from the cloud, um, you know, and is more um, younger uh, generation. So I don't think they will go all out, you know, grab everything they can from Minecraft. For now. Not much change will happen. I can tell you a little bit from behind the scenes, some info I have, which is not compromising at all, which is just some, some stuff I can tell you. According to the one on the other worker at YouTube, uh, at Mojang, there was no direct talk uh, from any Microsoft guys yet with any of the core team members and so on. So far, it was only business negotiations, you know? So. There will, you know, there is no real facts other than the blog posts uh, by Microsoft and Mojang that basically um, tell us what's up. What's with the timing of the snow factory? Just wanted to get some snow, but I think we should be good now. So there was no, the, the plan was not really laid out, but for sure there will be maybe some scrambling going on. We might see some changes in the lineup um, when it comes to organization. For example, a big problem for Minecraft always was there is no real community manager. Mark, um, you know, Mark Watson of the customer support basically jumped into this role and pitched in there, tried his best, but it was not his official job. And that uh, often caused chaos in communication so and, and, you know, social media not being used to its proper extent and so on. Uh, because, for example, Mojang owns the Mojang Twitter account, but it's not really being used, which is kind of funny. Um, Mojang, you know, the name Mojang. They use Team Mojang and support and whatnot. And I think we will see some restructurization with these things, most definitely. 
yeah, which is most definitely not a bad thing. But we, uh, as me as a guy, for example, who communicates with Mojang, has to make sure um, that I also um, make sure I communicate with the right people. So from now on, probably a um, guy like Mark um, will be an uh, important person if he becomes the new community manager. Things are not set in stone. As said, it, um, there will be some scrambling now and some positions will be newly yeah, kind of negotiated, I would say. Um, that might also bring some other changes. Um, for example, um, with other employees um, who are working there, you know, I'm not saying that uh, the core team will leave, but, you know, um, there is some people who, um, yeah, they... When it, you know, people will just, when, when a big company comes in, like uh, Microsoft, they will go like, okay, what have you been doing here in the last few years? What is your exact job and so on? So things like that happen, but to all coders, to, to you know, calm your nerves there, I spoke to and to all the core guys I know and w which are important for Mojang for the company, all of them so far said I will stick around and, you know, at least for a good while, and uh, see what happens. It would be stupid, you know, just to bail now and, uh, you know, and whatever. So when it comes down to that, we are on the safe side. The, the heart of Minecraft is still pumping. We lost Notch as a symbol figure for not necessarily Minecraft, but as a symbol figure for independent gaming, although he was also controversial there. You know, not every independent company saw Notch as some kind of godfather because he here and there also said some controversial stuff. So, but he had his role as a symbol figure and sometimes, you know, being this grumpy old dad, you know, coming in saying, no, oh, Oculus, I don't like Facebook, you know, stuff like that. So I will definitely miss that. And of course, I'm a traditionalist. So I initially, I was very sad when I heard Notch had enough just because I'm conservative, you know, I like don't like change that much but with the YouTube stuff I learned to adapt to change uh, way better in my life now than I was um, yeah, able to do it before so yeah you know no way to whine we, we have to thank Notch for, the, for making the game we have to thank Notch for being around for a long time and you know giving changing our lives I, I met Notch there at Minecon and I told him that I'm really grateful for what he did and that for that uh, he should be remembered. Um, I think he did a lot of good in his time um, when he was, you know, doing his Mojang thing. Now we will see what he will be doing, but I only wish him the best. There should not be uh, um, mad people, you know. The thing is, the people who will scream the loudest and say, oh, he bailed, he, he's a traitor, those are the people probably who initially uh, drove him away um, with their sometimes very demanding attitude and, you know, just saying Eula drama and so on, you know. So the people that might go on a crusade now uh, literally will probably be the people that partially, I'm not trying to point fingers, but partially helped in driving him away. There's also other factors in such decisions, of course, um, but yeah, that's a part of it. That's a part of it. So, um, with that said, yeah, by the way, um, if you didn't see it yet, I had to fix it here. Um, Naps came in and <laughs> there must have been a creeper around and it blew up right here. Also, some windows are broken. We should fix that as well right away. So, um, what else um, is there to say? Um, I would say, as usual, we don't have to panic about stuff. Wait, I think I have glass over there. We can do what we did before. I don't expect uh, Microsoft doing any crazy moves on the YouTubes. I mean, you know, people are some people are concerned, um, uttered concerns that, uh, y you know, they might go pull a um, um, Nintendo on us and say, um, you know, we want to cut off the YouTube money or we want to not allow you to do it or whatever. I see the chances for that being extremely slim because hell, at least that's how I see it, if Microsoft would mess with the YouTubers, even if I'm a YouTuber now, I'm a fan of some YouTubers too. Imagine, you know, for example, for me, I'm a big ESO fan or Zizuma Void or whatever, you know, others, you know, I've been watching, I'm not, only, I'm not only friends with them, I'm also fans. And just as a fan, 
I don't know, but if somebody would say, okay, we disallow ESO to do Minecraft, I would freaking riot. And I would assume, I'm not saying you should riot or so, but I would assume if Microsoft would do attempt to shut down Minecraft, I think it would um, not go by so well. And, you know, there's other um, Minecraft communities with a bigger and even more vocal following. We're talking about maybe even younger guys and so on. And, you know, <laughs> I'd say that would be something Microsoft should really think twice about. But, well, nothing is impossible, you know, but, yeah, normally, as I'm a bit older now, I'm more laid back and I can analyze things quite well. And, yeah, trust me, guys, I'm deeply rooted with the community or in the community. And when, when I talk about stuff like that, I'm really concerned. I'm not a guy that rambles often in his videos about the serious topics. But, dude, next time, <laughs> listen, when I tell you not just gonna get pissed, trust me, it's not, well, okay, it's not gonna happen, not just gone now, but I have a good sense for these things, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'd say, <laughs> let's wrap it up, let's wrap it up, guys. Minecraft belongs to us. It's our game, you know. The, the guys at Mojang, that probably will be called now Mojang Studios <laughs> or whatever, um, they are the guys that fulfill our dreams, our vision of the game. And that is what made the game great. The Microsoft CEO guy said, listen, we will also learn a lot from the people at Mojang. And I hope they approach it like that. Hands off some things, stand back and learn. This is how a great game was made. Don't mess it up. See you next time. We will go back to regular building action and do our thing here. It was some busy times. There was the live stream. And today I maybe can already spoil it a little bit. But guys, I have a giveaway coming up that will blow your socks off. We are talking custom cooled gaming rig. It's not 100% confirmed yet, but it's looking good. I might be able to hook you up big time. See you next time. I'm out. Bye.